Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Throughout this video, we are going to explore the main sites of Mumbai, India. The India Gate. The Rajabai Clock Tower. The Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus or Victoria Terminus Railway Station. A famous shoe-shaped house in Kamala Nehru Park which forms part of the Hanging Gardens. The Marine Drive. The Dobi Ghat, the largest open-air traditional laundry in the world. The Mani Bhavan, Gandhi's home in Mumbai. And lastly, the Crawford Market or Mahatma Jyotiba Pule Mandai. Let's start the Mumbai tour. Mumbai, also known as Bombay, official name until 1995, is the capital of the Indian state of Maharashtra. Mumbai has the highest number of millionaires and billionaires among all cities in India. It is also where the greatest contrasts can be found, from skyscrapers to large slums, from the richest to the poorest, a city where large companies, banks, the headquarters of Bollywood are located and, at the same time, where many people still live from very small individual businesses. To access the India Gate we have to go through a metal detector. India Gate is one of the most visited monuments in Mumbai. It was erected to commemorate the visit of King George V and Queen Mary to India in 1911. The first stone was laid in 1913, but it was only finished in 1924. The India Gate is 25 meters high and is located on the coast of the Arabian Sea, at the entrance to the port of Mumbai. This monument has an enormous symbolic value derived from the country's independence. It was through here that the British troops left the territory, marking in 1948 the end of the British presence in Indian lands. Nearby, across the street, is the beautiful Taj Mahal Palace Hotel. The Taj Mahal Palace Hotel is almost 112 years old and maintains the same charm and beauty. As a curiosity, Barack Obama visited the hotel in 2010. This area where the India Gate is located is the Kalaba area. Considered the most touristic and richest in the city. Most tourists stay in this area to discover the most historic part of Mumbai. At rush hour, the city is crazy with lots of people walking around and lots of traffic. As far as I could see on my trip through India. The most important part of India is not something that can be visited. It's not the incredible monuments. The most important of India is the people.
the Rajabai Tower, a clock tower located in South Mumbai, on the Fort Campus of the University of Mumbai, with a height of 85 meters and is a World Heritage Site since 2018. Oval Maidan, a field where everyone plays the most popular sport in India, cricket. This train station, Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus, also known as Victoria Terminus, served as a tribute and to mark the jubilee of Queen Victoria in 1887. A wonderful building located next to Victoria Terminus station where the headquarters of the body responsible for civic infrastructure and administration of Mumbai is located. The Victoria Terminus Station began to be built in May 1878 and was inaugurated 10 years later. The monument, classified as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO, has a Gothic style and influences from Indian architecture. It receives 2.6 million people, daily. We will now visit the Hanging Gardens. The gardens have existed since 1880 and the name comes from the fact that they are located on Mount Malabar on top of a gigantic water reservoir, which once played a leading role in supplying the city. The gardens are beautiful, they are like an oasis in the middle of the city. There are bushes trimmed in the shape of animals and there are stunning views of the city. We are in the part of the gardens called Kamala Nehru Park where there is a famous shoe-shaped house. Inspired by an English children's song, there was an old woman who lived in a shoe. From here we have a breathtaking view of the promenade below, Marine Drive also known as the Queen's Necklace due to the effect that the lamps produce at night. This city is home to all contrasts and, in the midst of tall buildings, we found the Dobie Ghat, the largest open-air traditional laundry in the world. The Dobie Ghat was constructed in 1890. Despite technology and washing machines, this traditional laundry keeps business, and around 7,000 people, Dobies, work in this place. This is amazing. But, what impressed me the most, in all of this, was how do clothes get back to their respective owners, after being washed and dried all together? The jobs carried out here, washing, drying and sewing are mostly done by men. We arrive at Mani Bhavan, a simple two-story house on Laburnum Road, Mumbai. Whenever Gandhi was in Mumbai between 1917 and 1934, he stayed here. The house has been transformed into a museum, library, with over 40,000 books, and research center. Gandhi at age 7. 
Gandhi's House Museum is a place that takes us back to the essence and life of India's most inspiring figure, where respect for Gandhi's history and thought is felt. No one is indifferent to Gandhi's house. Photo of Gandhi with Charlie Chaplin It was from this house, Mani Bhavan, that Gandhi initiated Satyagraha against Rolat law, and propagated the causes of Swadeshi, Khadi and Hindu-Muslim unity. Extremely well preserved. This is the Crawford Market, Mahatma Jyotiba Pule Mandai, one of the most famous in South Mumbai, having been completed in 1869. The market was designed by British architect William Emerson and represented an early effort to blend Victorian Gothic architecture with Indian elements. In 1882, it was the first building in India to be lit by electricity. In the market you can buy from fruits, vegetables, clothes, fabrics, toys, jewels and even pets, dogs, cats and birds. If you like the video, put a like and subscribe, it's very important to help the channel grow. Thanks for watching. Until the next adventure. Thank you.